here's an example of how you could use Chart Trader. So it's at, this is perfect for me to watch. It's at a major price that I see, and it's at the Asia session, it's oscillating around on that level. Okay, so let's watch. I'm going to change this down to a 15 minute chart, and there it is. Now watch. Chart, here's how fast Chart Trader, I'm going to write these steps down. This is how simple it is. Ready? All right, so I open up the navigator. I go into the um, expert advisors, and right there at the top is Chart Trader. Okay, watch. I drag it onto the chart, and it gives me a different parameters. Do you want email alerts? Do you want pop-up alerts? Do you want to play sounds? Pick the lots. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, three lots on here, three mini lots. So I change that, a couple different parameters, whatever you want. You can play around with this. So watch. I'm going to hit OK. That's it. So I hit OK. Now it starts to load. Now expert advisors are a little bit different. You have to uh, you have to let the chart tick. So it's kind of sitting here. When the chart ticks, boom, there it's loading up. Okay, so you'll see this on your chart. Now here's my lines. So here's my buy. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to say, okay, if this breaks out of this Asia high, I want to go long. I go to my first take profit line. I grab it. And I drag it down. And I kind of like this area here is... Uh, the first center, and I just look at these clusters, and I'll show you a couple trades I took today. They worked perfectly that way. So I set up my buy entry, take profit one and two. That's it. I drag them around. I gave this. This is the skinny line. Here's my stop, and I go. Eh, let's see if it goes down below this black line, my big support. I'll hide behind that, and I try to watch for price to line up with a bias or key. Ideally, that's really the most powerful trades. All right, now I'm going to say, you know what, if this breaks, I grab the big fat red line. This is my short entry, right? So I'm like, well, this thing breaks new lows out of this Asia. So it oscillated. It hit a low, hit a high, and now it's back. That's perfect for me. I like that. So then I'll take this next line. This is my short take profit one. Now here's this 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 guy, this our developer, Johnny. He just blew my mind. Guess what? Over here, it tells you the price of your lines as you move them around. Very cool. And this one, I'll just leave it down here. So this is it. I add it to the chart. I set up my lines. I do my analysis. Um, I decide how much risk reward I want. Oh, there's my short stop. So let's move this to the high. I'll put it there. Got it? That's it. I move the lines. Now here's how I activate it on the chart. This is some pretty cool stuff. Watch this. If you click on the E in the word inactive, it's highlighted. I just select that little inactive. Now watch what's going to happen. I'm going to open up my terminal so you can see. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot. I got one trade running here, 521 pips uh, gravy train. I've already pulled off 200 pips, and this guy is up 522. It's cranking. I'll show you what. The, I'll show you how that one went. It's pretty cool. The setup is perfect. It was just like this. Watch. So I grab this inactive. Now watch. All I do when I drag this, it's going to create these orders off these lines. I don't know about you, but this is cool stuff, man. Here, watch. When that chart ticks, this is going to snap back into that corner, and bam, it's going to fill in all these details and create two orders. Let's see if how, how fast it does it. Um, meanwhile, let's see. Boom, there it went. You see that? Boom, that fast. There's my orders. They're parked. Now, this is the coolest thing in the world. Watch this. Okay, there's my buys, and it puts this little arrow right next there. It shows you there's your buy entry. There's your stop loss. And now... Now I'm just going to play with this for a second. Look at now. Do you see it says buy entry at 99.85? Watch. I'm just going to move this up and watch how it, it changes. Ready? I'm going to move it up and drop it. At the next tick of the chart, it's 99. What did I say? 85. Okay. Watch. 99.85. The next tick of the chart, it's going to modify the order to match that line, and it's going to change. And it's going to change the uh, the entry up here. Okay, 99.85. Boom, right there. See that? Went to 99.87. This says entry 99.87. That is some cool stuff. All right, so let me drop it back down to where I originally had it. Boom, that fast. It modified it back to 99.85. Watch stop loss. Let's take the short stop loss and let's say I move that down, and the stop loss. Boom, it already moved. See that? It goes pretty fast. So you're, you're trading, man, right on the chart. We're not playing around right here, this fast, this easy. So right now, this is running. It'll manage this breakout. If it goes down, it'll get me in. If it goes up, it'll get me in. It'll take my profit, move my stops. It's off and running, all right? That is Chart Trader. To me, that's powerful.
Hi, good morning everybody. This is Bill Tainter with OU Forex Trader and I just wanted to show you last night during the uh, demonstration of Forex Trader Pro um, I shared one of the trade setups that we have that I follow that uh, Joe teaches in Forex Trader Pro and basically I set up Chart Trader here and uh, you'll be able to watch that video and you'll see I put the buy line here, take profit one, take profit two, my stop loss is in here these black lines are my lines that I draw on here for support and resistance on an exotic pair. This is the Australian dollar, US dollar. Joe provides all that detail on the four majors. So I'm adding value here by sharing my you know, insights and analysis on some of these other exotic pairs. So these are the levels here. And uh, so uh, real simple is I set up a sell line here. Uh, the sell stop loss was up in this area above the Asia high and this is take profit one and this is take profit two well it was kinda of funny I'm working away this morning this is the Asia session uh, this is the London session and just before the uh, this is seven o'clock for me so eight o'clock Eastern just before eight o'clock Eastern this trade broke out punched down through and pulled 23 pips right there um, and now the second take profit line right here shows you on the chart, which is pretty cool to me, uh, take profit two is at 98.90, take profit one was 99.16, my entry was 99.40, here's my stop loss, 99.39 shows me I'm, I'm at break even plus one. The um, little status here, it's a little hard to read behind that box, but it says take profit one is hit, break even plus one is hit um, and it's 16 pips to take profit two. wow very cool there it is 17 pips to take profit two. so it tracks all this and it shows it so anyway just thought I'd bring that up and give a quick recap that it did go through as planned we're at a risk-free trade uh, chart trader um, has already moved the stop loss right here to break even plus one I'm in a risk-free trade and I've got options I can move that line back away and let the trade play out if I want to scalp I can take the stop loss pinch it down and just close the trade out for a you know 20 30 pip profit on the remaining orders it's my call I can do whatever I want we have recommendations for you but you can always do whatever you want so I'm gonna keep watching this and we'll come back and see if it does end up either it's gonna stop me out or it's going to punch deeper here and hit this take profit too. So I'll be back. Thanks. Okay, folks, you might be able to hear a little cha-ching example here. She's pushing hard. Here we go. It's moving in our direction. And there you go. Wow. Take profit two. And here's how I see where it's at. See, it tells me take profit two is hit. And let me run my little C4 order history for pips. Run that on the chart and there it tells me puts these little text boxes so we got 49 and we got uh, 23 and again I'm still the stop is still at break even I can do whatever I want and uh, there's our pulled off 50 60 72 pips so far we'll see what happens last